So today we're going to be learning some different kinds of oil pastel techniques. So you're going to need your box of oil pastels. You're going to need a pencil, a paper clip that's been opened up, a piece of paper to work on, and a sheet of scratch paper. And this can be out of the recycle bin. It doesn't need to be a great piece of paper. It can be something you could use again. Now to go ahead and begin, we want to make a horizontal line going across our paper. And you'll notice our paper is in the horizontal direction. So come and find about the halfway point, and then draw a horizontal line cutting your paper in half. Now after you do that, you want to find the center point of your paper in the other line, other direction, and you are going to draw a vertical line going from top to bottom. So we've made a great big plus sign. Now we can go ahead and find the middle of this one and we're going to break it, break another uh, section, putting in a vertical line. And then we're going to find the middle of this section and draw another vertical line. And that's going to leave us with eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if yours are a little bit different, mine are a little bit different, this is a little bit smaller than this, it doesn't matter as long as you have eight spaces. Now in our first space, we're going to learn about something called light pressure. So let's write that on our paper at the bottom. Light pressure. Now you can choose any color of oil pastel that you want for this. And we're going to use very light pressure as we go to color. There'll be a little bit of white that shows through. So we color very, very softly almost like a tickle. And if you want to try that with a couple of different colors so you can experience it, you can. Here's another light pressure. I'm pressing very, very soft. And I think I would like to try it with one more color since I have room. So that is what light pressure looks like. Now we're going to do something called heavy pressure. Heavy pressure. So go ahead and write that. Now with heavy pressure, we are actually going to push a little bit harder. We don't want to push so hard that we um, break our oil pastel, but we do want to have more color. So we press a little bit harder. And you can see the difference between light pressure and dark pressure. And sometimes in an art piece you might want light pressure, but sometimes you might want to have dark pressure. So it's good to know both ways. And I'm going to do that with all three of my colors. So I have light pressure and I have heavy pressure. Now in our next box, we're going to do something called scumbling. Everyone say scumbling. Scumbling is a very fun word and scumbling is fun to do with an oil pastel. It's basically like making a big wavy curly worm. This is scumbling. So I just move all over. Now when I scumble, I could use more than one color if I want to. I could scumble one color on top of another. So this is a way to add designs onto your paper. So that one is called scumbling. We're going to move into our next box now, and this one is called color mixing. And we're going to mix colors. So we need to choose two different colors to mix. I think I would like to mix this orange yellow color and this reddish orange. But you can choose which two you want. I wouldn't use black though, okay, or white. You can use any of the other colors, but don't use black or white for this job. We're going to get to those colors later. So with color mixing, we're going to take, we're going to use heavy pressure and I'm going to take my color part way across my page. And then I'm going to take my other color 
coming the other direction, but then I'm going to let them mix into the middle. See how they're mixing? Now I'm gonna take my other my light color back on and mix it in a little bit more. And so then I have from a light yellow into a red. So that's called color mixing. Now when we do color mixing though, it can make our oil pastels dirty. See how there's dirt on that oil pastel now? So what I can do is I can take my scratch paper and I can take and roll it around. And when I roll it around, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up cleaning my oil pastel. See how it's clean now? And I can check my other one too, seeing if I have anything on there. And then I can put them both away and they're ready to be used for the next round. Now another thing that starts to happen is we have these little buildups happening. See how we have little balls of color? You don't wanna brush, because if you brush, I'll show you what'll happen. See how it makes a streak. So you'd never wanna brush off with your hand. What you wanna do is you wanna pick your paper up, you bring your scratch paper over, and you tap off and see how it lets all of those little bits come off. And then you can go ahead and go back to working on your paper and you can see how my little bits are gone. Now in your color mix mixing section, if you wanna go ahead and try a couple of others, you can totally try a few others. So like maybe I wanna do a light green and a dark green. So I can see what that's gonna look like. I take one color with heavy pressure over I take my other color over. And I take my other color back in a little bit. So I can see my color blend. So if you want to do two or three of them, feel free to do more color blends. Now we're going to move in to our next one. And our next one is called Scraffito. Everyone say scraffito. That's a hard word to say. Look at that. Okay, so we have scraffito. Now, with scraffito, we need to choose two colors. Okay, and I think I want to use yellow today. And I think I'm going to use some. Oh, it's hard to choose. I think I'm going to use some blue. I'm curious to see what this does. So first I want to take and I want to use heavy pressure and I want to color a nice big shape. Now, and I'm using heavy pressure for that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I chose to do my lighter color so I wouldn't have to clean it. That was smart of me. <laughs> now I'm going to take my darker color, and I'm gonna go right over the top, once again using heavy pressure. So I have my yellow right on, or my blue right on top of my yellow. It's kind of making a green, because remember when blue and yellow get together, they mix up into green. Now in Scraffita, what we do is we take our um, paper clip, and now we can take and we can scratch in. And we scratch off the color on top. And I can actually go in after I draw something, if I want to go in and scratch something out, I can. So we can totally make a drawing this way with oil pastels. It's very fun to do. You have to go slow. It takes a little bit of time, so you'll have to be patient. So I've sped up the video a little bit for you, but you're gonna see now how my yellow is coming through. So that is called Scraffito. So let's try another one now, and this one is gonna be called, oops, actually, you know what, I've got a lot of buildup, so let me tap this off, because it's gonna to start to get messy. So I'm gonna bring in my scratch paper, and I do a tap off. So the next one I want to do is called Stippling. So let's go ahead and write stippling on our paper. Now with stippling, you're gonna choose any color you want and you're gonna take and you're gonna make little dots. 
this is going to get very loud. Now you can do different colors as well. You don't have to just do one. You can combine colors together. You could even use more colors than that if you want to. So go ahead and try a couple of colors with stippling. The more dots you put, the more color you will have. Now for our next one, we're gonna do something called white plus one color. So white plus one color. So we're going to need our white one for this. And then we're gonna choose one color. And once again, I wouldn't use black, okay? I would save, I would save that for later, okay? So I think I'm gonna use so many choices. I think I'm going to use a green today. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take and use some heavy pressure and just put down my green. Then I want to take my white and I'm going to take and take some white into my green. And see how I can blend it. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra down at one end. And see how the white changes it? I could then take and bring some green into it if I want to. So I can go from light to dark using white as well. So here we did it with colors, but here we can actually do it with a white. Now this is gonna make your white very, very dirty. So you're gonna definitely have to go and clean off the white when you're finished. If you don't clean off the white when you're finished, it will be a mess with the next color you use. So I get it completely, completely clean. So if you want to try white with one color with a couple of different ones, you can. So maybe with this one, I'm going to take and put some red down. I'm curious to see what the white does with the red. I wonder if any of you have any guesses of what might happen. Let's see. Let's take and put some white in here. Oh, look, we're starting to get some pink. So we can go from a very light to a dark color um, once again. And also then look at my white. See how dirty it's gotten. So I bring in my scratch paper and I'm going to clean my white off. There we go. We'll put it back in my box. Now in our last box, we're gonna do something called black plus one color. And this is gonna be just like what we did with the white, but now we're gonna to try to do it with black. And you know what, I think I'm gonna use my same color so we can see the difference. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna use heavy pressure. I'm gonna put my green down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my black. Now black is really, really strong, so I would use light pressure as you go up. So I started with a little bit of heavy pressure, but do you see how I moved into light pressure? And I'm gonna take and blend this in a little bit. So you see how I can go from a lighter green into a darker green using the black. Now I do have some black on my oil pastel, so I'm gonna take a moment, I'm going to clean. And then I can, oop, I got a little bit more on there. And then I can put it away. And let's try it with our other color as well. Whichever one you used here, do it here too. I used red, so I'm gonna go with red. And let's see what this does with our black. I'm gonna use heavy pressure at the beginning, but then I'm gonna to start to use very, very light pressure. And then I'm gonna use my red for blending. So 
So you can see how we can go from a dark red into a light red. And once again, I have a very dirty oil pastel. I'm gonna go ahead and clean, clean, clean it off. Oh, that's much better. And I'm noticing that my paper is getting a little bit mucky, so I'm gonna take very carefully, I'm gonna lift it up, I'm gonna tap. And there I have it. So today we learned about light pressure, heavy pressure, scumbling, color mixing, scraffito, stippling, white plus one color, black plus one color. And you can take these different techniques into all of your different oil pastel art projects. Have fun creating!